Okay, so what it be? Me versus you, you versus me. Who gonna say that I can't be better than what I've already been? Because naturally, I'm always progressing to be better. Naturally, better than I was before. Naturally. Because we naturally improve as we go on. That ain't a problem. But yo, come on. Let a brother go. This is enough in the arm every single time. Because even still, two years after I get you off my ass, you have the right to appeal my absolute for whatever reason you so choose. Now, why would that be? Could it be because I chose to quit the damn needle? can't do that, fool. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. I don't know if that was some bullshit I heard, but I ain't gonna do it. Do your appeal. I'll prove that I'm worthy. I don't care if you say the second you detain me, you put me on it, and since then you haven't decided to take me off. But the fact of the matter is, I never needed it. My body doesn't want it, but I have to take it because you have to make money. That's some bullshit. I am uploading video after video just to say what I want. That is, in fact, the truth that I have to flaunt to the people who don't know what these people are doing. Honestly, it's the sickest shit. They take people's lives. You can't do this. I want more, but I can't get it with you. You're a store, but you're the type that keeps things in for an age the store rage you are I would never buy anything from you that's why you charge it to my OHIP but there's therapy out there I would gladly pay 10 what 15 dollars for a gram of a plant instead Okay, I might need two, three, four, five in a day. I would rather do that and eat proper food instead. Yes, there is such a reason to do such a thing. Plants, herbs, natural, peace. You people disturb me. It's sick, it's unnurturing. I've been overweight from every moment I was in your hands. And I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. And I wouldn't be able to give as much more than I would give if I hadn't had it. But you're still going to see an honest, God-given effort at this point. I am going on and on and on, saying what I want, because I don't have that choice when I see you. When I'm with you, you call all the shots. It's just interrogation at every moment, knowing if I say the wrong thing, it's like, whoop, he's in. Even at that point, if I so as choose my own therapies, that is the same reason for you to force yours on me. I know what's good for me. It's not that hard to see marijuana is therapy. There's nothing wrong with a little alcohol. Clearly, people can contain themselves. I can admit, I was a little bit 
of a dickhead when I was younger. I chose to take my shots. I got into such a point where I thought I could take a weak charge against me, force myself into a jail where I would be unleashed to people who choose to better themselves given their circumstances. And they do just that. What do they do? They work out. They're healthy. In fact, I didn't realize most of the people in there are praying. Half of our unit would gather every day and spend two hours praying. It was the most beautiful thing. Matter of fact, I couldn't even keep up with them. They were really good at that. I saw the light in jail. It was a great thing. 30 days was perfect, because that's all my sentencing was. I figured perfect. I'd served my time. But for now, some reason, they said I would be out of here because they said, at initially, would you rather spend your 30 days in jail or hospital? I don't know, let me think. Before realizing what jail is. From what I've been told, honestly, I chose the hospital. And that's what we did. So then I went after 30 days. That's what I didn't get. I've already served my time in jail and now I'm getting therapy. I thought, you know what? 30 days, let's just try it. It's not like I have a choice. I've already agreed to it. The judge said, hey, yeah. So we did it. And then they said they needed more time. So we did just that. And then they said that they needed even more time. So we did that. And oh my God. It's like I never had a privilege for so long. What does that do to people? The fact that I couldn't even go off the unit. I was stuck in one place for so long. And even when I got privileges, it's like what? You go downstairs, you walk out the doors, and you have to stay on property. Everyone's so satated, they don't use the gym, honestly. I think there is more help in the cigarette that they can breathe. It's a counter-react medication. Then going to the gym and getting into shape. Also helps, yes, and I do that, sure, but you got to respect the fact these guys are taking on pharmaceutical medication. This shit is man-made, manipulated, marked up for profit, and it's aimed and designed to do just that, keep the profit coming. So what do they do with it? They make it slowly change you into being what they want you to be. Therapeutical nonsense. They institutionalize everybody into a state of collapse and giving up because they are pretty big and it's hard to fight a company that the government is running. That's where I come in. That's where we all come in and just say, you know what? I ain't doing it. I'm sitting in front of this computer and I'm saying what I want and people will listen to me. Well, at least one guy will because they have to re watch every single video. I don't care if you got to hire two, three, four, let's do it. I got them all. They go way back, yo.
at some point, you're going to have to admit he's not as crazy as it seems. Given the circumstances, he's been through a lot. So what? He had a rough past. He can be strong. What would be better for a person who's been beat down? Than to force him into the army or something of that nature. Make him get healthy. You wouldn't have to try that hard. You could do it slowly. Honestly, the hospital should be filled with personal trainers. These rec staff, all they do, well, all they're told to do is make them play cards, go to a dance with edited music, because we're all humans above 18, and that's what we need. Chaperones at every single freaking corner of existence because we're all so crazy no one blows up we just eat cake and cola because that's what they serve us given the fact that our metabolism has been damaged from medication that is actually not what we're needing we could focus on healthy food instead make them feel better from nutrients that sounds healthier. That sounds like it'll do things. Oh, that's a sexy word. Nutrients. I love the sound of that word. Oh, baby. You know me. I get my vitamins in. From time to time, I do narcotics. That's just me. Who is to say We can't do it. It's impossible. Is that what God put us here? To be teased by something that we can't do? For what reason? Do you think God is so stupid? He wouldn't figure out? Adam and Eve would eat from that tree? God will forgive you and you will get to see if in turn this is for me. If it's not, it's probably because you couldn't afford it. No one can afford to be a drug, really, unless you live in California. But if you give the person what they need, they can, they can live a life with the sea, the cocaine. Sue me, shoot me, do whatever you want. But I say, if you legalize one narcotic that is hard, it will turn people away from other drugs such as crystal meth or other harmful things. Personally, I don't know all those other drugs, but with cocaine, I found some benefit. There is a reason that it's here. It opens a mind. It does have benefits. You realize stuff. It's next level. But I could agree it's not for everyone.
How do you afford such a thing? When you just can't get enough of it. Maybe it wasn't supposed to exist, but what's the point of that? It's a plant. It has to be slightly manufactured. Okay, fine. We figured that out. Do we not cook food to make it taste better? Raw vegan is the healthiest lifestyle. But we choose to cook stuff. Hell. We even take the animals who had a life to live and we kill them and say, we have to eat this. Now, if you're a hunter in the woods, by all means, you got to eat. This is your game. I can understand and respect that. That makes sense. Your body is telling you, it, if, if it had the choice to choose what it could eat, it would make your taste buds and your mouth forcibly eat vegetables uncooked, nuts, and water at every single meal. But we don't do that. We choose other things. And the world supplies it. That's the kind of life you live in. We haven't realized yet, the better us, the better ourselves, the better me, the better you, it's not being fed the proper world it needs to live in. We have to do that on our own. We have to figure that out. Because man has made things at the profit of themselves to sacrifice the health of others. Tobacco. I'm sure it wasn't as manipulated when it first came in or how the natives smoked it. Fine, you're taking in heated plant matter. That's not safe. But the chemicals involved with making it that cigarette are insane. And that is legal. Alcohol that kills so many people is legal. And marijuana, for the first time in how long are we realizing this? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? Better late than never. Who am I kidding? I'm 28 in April. So, I didn't have to wait that long. It happened at a pretty good point in my life. I got to see both sides, both spectrums. Hell, I even dealt. And they hold that against me. The fact that I knew this was not anything to be illegal or frowned upon. I took my shot. I sold it to not really make a profit. And I did that for a while. And then I got sloppy. I wasn't really trying to hide it. Because it's honestly so much better than it's described as. You can't put words on its high. Other than it's healing the way it was supposed to be. And brew, you know what? A beer. 
I like that too. Wine is nice, but I have reason to believe that shots of liquor can make men do not so good things. Do I like it? Yes. It's what I drink. Well, I drink wine and beer as well, but I have to admit that equally to the wine and the beer, I drink liquor as well. It depends on what I'm feeling. What else do you want to know? The cocaine, let's go back to that. Okay. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay, okay, okay. But is that because people made it that way? They live in a world where they're forced to make so much money just to live that they have to cut their product with what it is to get ahead. And they do that. <sighs> That's fair given the risk. But it shouldn't be a risk. Because it's fair to be lived. It is here. It's pretty natural. The way... It was intended to be seen. The stuff we get at the bottom, not so much. Not as great. But people touch and they do this and that and what can we say? We're a product of our environment. And we always will be. Okay, fine.